Our children are getting attacked by rainbows. Target is turning satanic. We shouldn't be teaching our kids to be kind. Pretty much exactly what this guy is saying in today's video. So why is Colin the Theist such an idiot? Let's find out. Hello, I'm the Skeptic, the British floating circle that watches people make extraordinary claims and then I explain why I don't accept what they're saying in the hope that some folks who also don't believe get some reassurance that they're not alone in their non-belief. Colin from Fight for Truth thinks that Target, of all places, has gone satanic because they had a display supporting the queer community. Getting close to 200,000 subscribers who support that channel, huh? Almost 200,000 people who think that rainbows and human rights are scarier than a wizard in the sky that wants you to tell it that it's amazing for all eternity. Well, we're about to find out why Target wants your kids. But before we do that, if this isn't your first sceptic video, hit the like, the subscribe and the bell to target more atheist content you might like to watch. And a super thanks to those that hit super thanks in some recent videos. Stygian60, that guy 2375 Tobias Gnork and Robert L. Lisa the Rainbow Giraffe bestows leaves upon you all. More hen. Why aren't our kids safe then? Hey guys, Colin here and welcome back to Fight for Truth, the channel where we bring you Christian commentary about the things that matter. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Target going full-on satanic. And I know what some of you may be thinking. Colin, come on, clickbaiting us like this? Not cool. Obviously, Target is not actually supporting Satanism, right? For all of those who hold to that opinion, let me tell you that this is not clickbait. And I can offer you 100% proof that Target has aligned itself with Satanism and other incredibly evil worldviews. Let's get right into it. If my memory serves me right here, Target was one of the first companies to allow the whole transgender bathroom phenomenon to take place in their stores. Transgender phenomenon, huh? Why do you even care who uses which bathroom, you weirdo? Why do you care if people are peeing and pooping? Live and let pee, Colin. I hate using public bathrooms at the best of times. Just how many people have been through there shitting and pissing all over the place. It's gross. I don't have time to worry about who exactly has been pissing and shitting in there. But if that wasn't enough, this Pride Month, they have taken their unbiblical depravity to a whole new level. They are now selling pro-LGBT and specifically transgender clothing marketed to little children. Yes, you heard that right. Let me show you an example of this in an actual Target store on video. Watch this. Because I heard that their new Pride collection was out, so let's take a look. This is a special swimsuit. It is invented for tucking. Live, laugh, lesbian. Are they amoebas? These don't even look like people. Queer, queer. Those are some massive adult-sized children. I think even my human form could fit in some of those clothes, and my meat package is six foot two. Wait, wait, that was not a dick joke. This right here. These are baby clothes. Rainbows and mermaids. Oh no, call the police. How offensive. We all know that rainbows represent a God post-it note telling it not to drown humanity again. How dare they put it on a tiny little outfit. Trans people will always exist. This is the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. Kids go into a, a pride parade. You get a little pride skirt for your kid. Super queer. It's like a, it's like a superpower. I tell you what is a superpower. Being an attractive human with an ugly ass personality, repelling brain cells with bigotry. Good going, love. Honestly, Target, what is going on? This is pretty disgusting. So yes, as the girl in the video was saying, this is an actual product being sold at a Target store near you. It's a little girl's bathing suit that is tuck friendly. In other words, if your little boy wants to wear a girl's bathing suit, but he's worried that everyone at the public pool is going to be grossed out, as they should be, all he has to do is buy Target's new tuck friendly swimsuit, and this will hide his gender, so to speak, from the rest of the swimmers. Oh, really? Well, it seems that, as always, the crybaby theists have got it wrong, as the tuck-friendly swimsuits are only offered in adult sizes. Duh, Colin. Duh. Now, it's at this point that we need a little history lesson, folks. Does anyone else remember the line that was repeated over and over and over again by the LGBT activists when they were fighting for gay marriage? Because I do. It was something along the lines of, what gives you the right to say what two consenting adults should do in the bedroom? This has nothing to do with you. Just stay out of other people's business. The argument was always centered around consenting adults. Those were the two words that came up 
over and over and over. But you see, what the LGBT mob failed to factor in here was the plain fact that whatever behavior is allowed among consenting adults will inevitably affect the rest of society. Most notably, it will affect children, the most vulnerable people in society. Look behind you, there's the slippery slope. Only if you allow it to offend you, Colin. If you teach kids that an invisible being wants only hetty relationships, then in a way, you're doing the same thing. And why the heck haven't you put your silver play button up? It's really bugging me that you haven't taken more care of it. I'd be over the moon if I had one of those things. Anyway, I wonder how long we'll have to wait to hear why Target is satanic. And by the way, this bathing suit situation isn't just immoral, it's also incredibly dumb. Because it's completely made up. But then, believers are good at that, right? If your son feels uncomfortable wearing a woman's bathing suit, it's because he should. He's a little boy. And the solution to this is simple. Just put him in boy's clothing, and then he won't have to worry about what he looks like in girl's clothing. This isn't exactly rocket science. No one is forcing kids to wear what they don't want to wear, unless it's Sunday clothing for church. And if you're making kids wear what you want them to wear, then it's probably best you don't have kids, Colin. Though part of me feels like Colin is projecting here and actually does want to wear girl clothing. But you see, Target's absolute insanity doesn't stop with tuck-friendly bathing suits. They have tons of merchandise in their recent Pride collection that is being marketed directly to little children, even babies. When did babies start recognizing sexuality and gender fluidity? Cole, babies don't even know what a dog is. Here's a picture of a baby onesie that says, BN Proud, complete with rainbow-colored letters in case you didn't get the pun. This item of clothing is for actual infants. So much for this only being about consenting adults, right? It's French, you moron. Bien is good. So, good proud? N nah, maybe it's more like very proud. Which parents usually are when they have a baby. And the fact it's a rainbow just makes it colourful. The fact you're offended by a rainbow is laughable. And get ready to be ultra offended, buddy. Lisa the rainbow giraffe, leave be upon her, is part rainbow and ate your god out of existence. Even more reason to hate rainbows. But it goes on. Here's a picture of an item that Target calls a baby jumper romper that says, quote, be kind, with a rainbow on it. F hell. Babies can't read. This is for kids 18 months old, so it's more a message for those that can read it. And if you're upset, thinking that humans shouldn't be teaching that kindness goes a long way, then you're a f***ing idiot. This one is particularly bad. Not only is it pride clothing for children, which is already wrong, but it's actually being marketed as a simple call to kindness, a call to compassion. After all, who doesn't want their child to be kind and to be surrounded by kindness? But the actual message here is far more sinister. They're saying that the LGBT movement is in and of itself a kindness. It's part of being kind. No, it's not. It's teaching that you should be kind to other humans and probably should butt out of their business when it doesn't affect you even remotely. Someone is scared that they're going to turn gay or something here, right? Though, if I thought gay dars were real, mine would be pinging all over the place right now. In reality, it's a perversion of God's creation and a manifestation of sin against both God and man. Romans 1, 26 through 27 says that sexual perversions like this are shameful, dishonorable, and sinful. But not getting your dead brother's wife pregnant is worthy of death. And ancestral relations with your mother are okay. And sleeping with your drunk dad is great. Don't cherry pick things when the Bible also has sexual perversions too. There is absolutely no real kindness in the LGBT worldview, whatever they may tell you. So because you don't agree, they're lying. Whatever, dude. Stop saying what you think other people mean and just ask them. And next, we have a pink dress for a little girl that's in their pride collection and has a rainbow on it as well. This one is extremely deceptive because the grand majority of little girls would love a pink dress with a rainbow on it. Who else got creeped out by the way he said little girls? For a little girl, for a little girl, for a little girl. <laughs> Makes me shudder. But they aren't exactly looking to be outspoken advocates for homosexual activity in wearing that outfit. So the fact that Target is trying to effectively smuggle that sexual meaning into a child's wardrobe without them knowing is absolutely appalling. Being an ally doesn't make you queer. And frankly, this is a dress that I could easily see yourself wearing. <laughs> I knew it. Some sweet, unassuming old lady buying for her granddaughter without any idea 
of what the dress is trying to say. Dresses don't talk, you bloody dumbass. So you see, they're trying to turn little children into billboards for their sexual sin. And this is something particularly dangerous, according to Jesus himself. Sure. Jesus, who only hung around with guys. In Matthew 18, 6, he says, quote, But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. So all religious folks need to do that then, since they're teaching their kids a massive lie that, you know, a god is real. Millstones for everyone! When you start corrupting innocent children, that is not something the Lord takes lightly at all. Funny how the Lord never gets involved, though, and it seems like it's left to folks who interpret things a certain way to fight the battle. Almost like that Lord doesn't exist, Collie, you wally. Target is playing a very dangerous game, one that they will not win. Here's another example. A little girl's shirt in their pride collection that says, quote, it takes all kinds. The shirt has a unicorn, a chicken, and a lion on it. So what would any unassuming child think that this shirt means? Well, they would think that it's a cute shirt about all the different kinds of animals that are in the world, right? But that's not what Target is driving at. By all kinds, Target is referring to all the different kinds of genders you can be, and all the different kinds of sexual orientation you can have. Wow, the meaning finding in all this is ridiculous. Being offended by kids' shirts is dumb. There are even unicorns in the Bible. What on earth is going on? Remember, this is in their pride collection. Again, they are intentionally smuggling their sexual worldview into the clothing of small children. We need to stand up against this. They're trying to use children as pawns in the culture war against biblical Christianity. No, they're teaching inclusivity and kindness. You're just offended because you think a wizard in the sky is against it. But perhaps nothing was more bizarre than this design of some sort of woman-man hybrid with a shaved head and hairy legs sitting down seemingly naked with their legs covering up their body. I mean, seriously, what even is this thing? What is this thing? A chipmunk looking easy? Easily offended, rainbow-hating, probably closeted, non-existing, God-loving, dummy that thinks its opinion actually matters. This was accompanied by the trans pronoun they as well. Now, why on earth do children need to see this kind of bizarre picture? Some naked woman with hairy legs and a shaved head. Well, frankly, the only reason you would show something like this to a child is if you have an agenda for them. And the fact that this agenda seems to be so blatantly sexual should be enough to wake up the Christian church in this country. The only reason you would is because you think there's an agenda. Maybe because you sexualize everything. Which is worrying if you're going to be left alone with children in a church, Colin. Sorry, maybe I took that too far. This kind of thing is not acceptable, especially not to God. But let's put the icing on the cake here. Target has also partnered up directly with a biological woman who goes by the name of Eric. And this individual has evidently been pumped full of artificial hormones to assume the appearance of a man. I can definitely see Colin and Matty Poowell being friends. And this woman named Eric, man named Eric, has a design brand called Apralin, who Target is working with this Pride Month. The only problem is that Eric is full of hatred against the truth of Christianity and anyone who believes it. So I respect that people can hold beliefs. I just think the beliefs are bloody stupid, especially when that belief involves being offended by a rainbow and what gender someone identifies as. She also happens to be a Satanist. He also happens to be a Satanist. And about time, I've been looking forward to this bit. Yes, you heard that right. And she puts Satanist messaging into her designs. He puts Satanist messaging into his designs. And Satanist messages are usually be a decent f***ing human, which is something you are failing to do. Here's a first example. A picture of Eric with horns on her head, sporting a shirt that says, quote, Satan respects pronouns. Just let that sink in. Well, to be fair, I think this is hilarious because Satanists don't think that Satan is actually real. And it's hilarious that it's offended you so much. To be fair, I'm all for this because it's showing how stupid your belief is. More people should point out the absurdities in your religion. And if wearing a t-shirt that says this does that, then it's win-win. She wrote in the caption of that photo, quote, Satan loves you and respects who you are, end quote. And by the way, of course Satan supports trans pronouns. He's the mastermind behind this whole evil thing. I love when they say dumb shit. I can just sit back and laugh, letting the words speak for themselves. 
Satan isn't real, you pleb. According to John 8.44, Satan is the father of lies, and transgenderism is, of course, one of the most blatant lies out there these days. No, the most blatant lie is that a god exists. So it's not surprising, then, that transgenderism is satanic, unbiblical, demonic, etc. We already knew that. But it's a bit surprising that these people don't even care enough to hide it anymore. In fact, they're telling you outright that they're being demonic. Who believes demons exist? Christians. The people who have a problem with it are the problem. The question is, why are so many American Christians not aware of this? But it gets even worse. Here's another design of hers that says, quote, If I cannot inspire love, I will cause fear. And on it is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Again, they are telling you what they're doing. They're telling you who they are. And what do Christians do? If I can't get you to love a god, I'll scare you with eternal torture. P*** off. The trans movement is a Trojan horse. It's a wolf in the clothing of a sheep. They want you to think that this movement is all about freedom and independence and kindness and love. In reality, it's about control and dominance over dissenting voices, chief among those being traditional Christians. Jeez, this guy is much whinier than most people I've covered. It's actually hilarious. Boo-hoo! People don't like Christians! According to 2 Corinthians 11.14, even the devil disguises himself as an angel of light. Even if that was true, and if you were likening the queer community to this stupid passage in a book, they're trying to fit in with kindness. Oh no! Dumbass. So it should be no surprise then that the transgender movement is being disguised as compassion. But it's not just the Satanism here that presents a problem. There are also some disturbing implications of violence in Eric's work. Here's a pin that she made with the words, quote, homophobe headrest on it. Colin, mate, you need to lighten up. It's a joke. If you change the wording to anti-Christian headrest, suddenly it becomes funny to you. Get over yourself and stop being a homophobe. For those who can't tell, this headrest is a guillotine. No sh- Sherlock. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Translation, if you're a straight, traditional Christian who believes what the Bible says about homosexuality and transgenderism, namely that it's a sin, well, you deserve to have your head cut off for being so homophobic and so hateful. And in the biblical approach, if you are a member of the LGBTQ plus community, you deserve to be tortured for all eternity. At least your head being cut off is quick and relatively painless, you jackass. And guys, I can't imagine a more ironic statement than this. But the whole LGBT movement is a denial of reality in the first place. Excuse me? Pot? This is Kettle. Your whole belief system is denying reality. You know, imaginary gods and a book that is full of fiction. So I can't say I'm surprised. Imagine an angry mob of people outside with rainbow-colored pitchforks and torches at your door chanting, Love is love. Now let's kill all the homophobes. In all seriousness, this individual is clearly disturbed inside. This behavior is bizarre and unhinged. Unhinged? I'll tell you what's unhinged. Thinking there's a man in the sky who judges people for who they love. The projection is strong in this one. And here's what Eric had to say about all of those who are against the trans worldview. Quote, In order to keep the transphobes at bay, we must eradicate them. It is very important to not engage in conversation with them. Fascists do not listen to reason, and they do not deserve the trans person's valuable time. How's that any different to burning in hell because of an undemonstrated sky man's opinion? End quote. So this trans activist says that you cannot reason with transphobic people. But here's the thing. The second you start saying that women can be men and men can be women, you have lost all right to appeal to reason, as you clearly have no grasp on it yourself. And notice the irony here again. We have a movement that falsely claims all the time that trans people are being hunted down, even though there's no evidence of that. And yet, this person is simultaneously calling for the eradication of transphobic people. And this is the designer that Target has decided to align themselves with. You can eradicate... With education, though, I'm pretty certain there's no evidence of the trans community mass-killing transphobes. Pretty certain there must have been mass killings from the god you believe in, though. Let that sink in. This is the type of person that they want to work with. And the point I want to make here is simple. None of this behavior would have been tolerated or allowed in the public square just 20 years ago. No, because 20 years ago, people were even less accepting of a person's rights than they are today. That's called society evolution. For example... 
Just two decades ago, this kind of thing being publicly promoted by an organization like Target would have been unthinkable to the average person. But things are changing. They have been for a long time. You see, the LGBT movement has been fighting tooth and nail for years now to change the ethical standard for sexual activity in our society. Which, boo-hoo, means fewer people are accepting of religious belief. And that is one big reason I'm all for it. Carry on. Most recently, they have fought to change the very definition of what a man or a woman is. They want to be the arbiters of reality, and therefore, they want to supplant God. They want to be God, if that were possible. Christians, we must stand up against this. There is no neutrality. Either God is your source of truth, or man is your source of truth. You cannot have both. And where do you think the God came from? Made up from man's brain holes. And you can't have both because only one is real. They are fundamentally opposites. And the inconvenient fact is that this movement is absolutely coming for your kids. They absolutely want your children to be advocates of the LGBT worldview. No, they just don't want the kids of the world to be bigoted assholes. And they are taking steps to accomplish that end. But we have to stand up and say enough is enough. It's God's way or the highway. Well, prove that God exists or it's the highway. In that it's the higher way, which is better than the lower way, I, I guess. We've allowed society to drift further and further away from truth for years now. And this, well, it's the result. But you don't get to make up your own gender. You don't get to make up your own marriage. You don't get to make up your own truth. You don't get to make up a God. And you certainly don't get to demand that everyone else support you in your delusion. He's trolling, right? At this point, he's got to be trolling. Who has the delusion? What is God if not a delusion? So please, Christians, look out for your children and be vigilant, faithfully, for God's glory. And please, don't buy anything from Target. They are an evil and wicked company who me and my wife will not be giving our money to. <laughs> He's married? What? I pray this has been a blessing to you. And please know this video isn't meant as a sinful attack, but rather as a biblical critique. Pray for this channel and for anyone mentioned in the video. Nah, it's okay. I'll think for you. So what we have here is a lot of projection and zero evidence for why Target has gone satanic. Just a little crybaby with too many followers thinking you should stop supporting basic human rights. Maybe he convinced you that Target is satanic though. Let me know in the section below. I'm going to continue to skeptic my shopping list every time I go to Target though. A big thank you to this month's top level ticks on Patreon. Godless Granny, Addy Rockart, The Enixes, Elizabeth, Jukari, Whiskey Tech Fred and the absolute lunatic Travis as well as all the three dollar base ticks you can become a supporter on patreon too at patreon.com slash the skeptic the link is in the description along with links to all my other socials don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already from me the skeptic stay safe keep thinking logically and ask questions skepticism is the first step towards truth see you next saturday